highly near algebra students. In section 1.2, you had three over-determined system to row reduce. Okay, remember in class what I did is I just gave the reduced row echelon form and interpret it from there. So the three next videos, what they're going to be is I'm just going to write down the matrix and row reduce it. Okay. So this is the first of the three system that we covered. Um, so by now it should be quite familiar that, uh, so this is the column for X, right? And you just put all the coefficients. If you don't see the coefficient here, it's just one. So one, two, one, one. The column for Y is one, three, three, negative one. Okay, the column for Z is 1, 1, negative 2, 4. Okay, and then finally the constants, easy to read, 1, 4, 2, 0. Okay. We already have a 1 here. That's awesome. It means that we don't have to do an operation to put a one here. We already have it. So our first operation will consist of making these numbers zero. So in other words, we're going to do three row operations at once. And uh, the first one is going to change the second row. So in other words, we're going to have row two. And to create a zero, we need to subtract twice of one. So subtract twice of row one. Okay, then for row three and row four, it's quite easy because they're both one. So the only thing you want to do is to subtract row one. So row three minus row one becomes the new row three. And row four minus row one becomes the new row four. All right, so... The first row is the unchanged row. Second, third, and fourth row all change. So here we have zero, and then we have to do the math. So three minus two, one. Uh, one minus two, negative one. Four minus two, two. One minus one, zero. Three minus one, two. Negative two minus one, negative three and two minus one, one. Finally, last uh, row, uh, one minus one, zero, negative one minus one, negative two, uh, four minus one, three, and zero minus one, negative one. Okay, here you, all, you should already see that these two rows will cancel. Okay, so you could actually do, for example, row, row, row 4 minus row 3, or row 4 plus row 3, sorry, because they're, they're opposites, uh, become the new row 4. But what we're going to do instead, we're going to do the same, well, basically we're going to do, uh, we're going to take care of this pivot first. So, okay, we hide this row, and here we have a 1, we're lucky, we don't have anything to do in order to create that 1, it's already there. So, we're going to do here, um, or you know what, let's create the row of zero right away. Sorry for that, my bad. I prefer that because then we do less calculations. So here you go, row four plus row three becomes the new row four, okay? So we have one, 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 zero, one, negative one, two, and zero, two, negative three, one. And finally, uh, we have zero, zero, zero. Okay, so that's the row that's changing. The reason I'm doing this now instead of instead of uh, worrying about my pivot is because now I can completely ignore that row because 
it's a row that's basically saying zero is equal to zero. So it's like a an equation that's redundant of the other trees. Okay, now is the appropriate time to take care of our pivot. So we want to make this to a zero as well. So the next row operation is going to be row three minus two row two becomes the new row three. So nothing else is changing. One, 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 uh, one, then zero, one, negative one, two, and then here. So let's put the row of zero here first, and then the third row. So zero, two minus two, zero, three plus negative three plus two is negative one, and finally, uh, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay, I have to be careful here. If you wanted, you could already scale the row by negative 1. But actually, pivots of 1 or of negative 1 are pretty much equivalent. So I will actually wait until the very end to do this. So now I'm taking care of these two entries. So what I'm going to do is, so row 1, uh, I will add row 3 to it, so that's going to become the new uh, row 1. And for row 2, I'm going to instead subtract row number 3. Okay. So, okay, we have 0, 1, negative 1. Oh, this, this row is actually changing. So it's row 3 and row 4 that are not changing. I have to keep this in mind. Okay, so row one, let's let's start with row one. One, one, and then one plus one, uh, well, one plus negative one, zero. And finally, one plus negative three is negative two. And the second row, so we have here zero, one, and then negative one minus one, oh, negative one minus negative one. So that's gonna become zero, but that's what we expect anyways. And then two minus, negative 3 is going to become 5. All right, now remember, we hide the two last rows, and we are worrying about the pivot that's right here. So we want to cancel this one and make it a 0. While we are at it, I can already see the end result. We're, we're going to have a 1 here, we're going to have a 1 here, and we're going to have this pesky negative 1. So, since we are not using row 3 in this operation, let's actually, it's the appropriate moment to scale it. So, we're going to perform two operations here. First, row 1 minus row 2 will become the new row 1. And second, row 3 times uh, negative 1, I, I'm going to put it in brackets will become the new uh, row tree. So the only, well, actually, uh, row two is not changing. Okay, uh, row three becomes, uh, actually, row four is not changing as well. Okay, and then row one, let's perform this. Uh, so this is obviously one, one minus one, zero, zero minus zero, zero, and negative two minus five. So that's gonna be negative seven. And then the third row is scaled by negative one. So we have zero, zero, one, three. Compare this with the reduced row echelon form that I gave in the notes. This is it. So we're good.